don't really use the internet very often myself. I use it slightly more than my wife's aware of, if I'm honest. Although this is on TV. Now she knows that. I'm so sorry, Donny. You see, that's the thing. This is on TV. My wife is watching. She's watching. She's criticising already. I can almost hear the criticisms. You do look a little fatter. You do look a little fatter on TV. We must sort that out. But I'm happy. I'm happy with our marriage. I hope she's happy as well. We've been married for um, three years now. Three years. Three years. Seven years together. Very expensive. I'm still paying for the wedding. Um, it's a, it's a, you basically get each other for life. That's the whole thing with marriage. But you also have to buy a diamond ring. Uh, this is the whole. This starts the whole ball rolling. I don't understand why. It's basically bribery, if you think about it. So, sort of like, will you marry me? But before you make up your mind, here's a quick look at what you can win. That's me and the ring on nothing at all. But I said. Diamond ring, and it cost me a fortune, but you'll like this. I even had it engraved. Yeah, with the price. I thought that was uh, something she needed to know. I got her a Tiffany ring, and I had to say she was more excited about the fact that it was a Tiffany ring than she was about the fact that I was proposing for us to spend the rest of our lives together. Like, oh, Tiffany! Tiffany ring Tiffany! Tiffany! Ah! It was like she turned into Gollum from The Lord of the Rings. It was quite. <laughs> Mine. Master, give me precious. <laughs> you just see girls outside jewelers just going, Sue them. Precious shall be mine. I thought when they gave her the ring, and she said to me, is it, is it really Tiffany? She said, this is actually quite serious, Michael. Is this really a Tiffany ring? I'm like, what are you talking about? Is it really? Of course it's a Tiffany ring. Why would I not get you a Tiffany ring? It's a Tiffany box. It's a Tiffany ring. So yes, I know that. But you could have got a Tiffany box and put a shit ring in it. <laughs> I thought, why the fuck didn't I think of that? It's unbelievable. <laughs> the way that women think! <laughs> but I wouldn't have gone to the ring if it wasn't a done deal. You know, we've been together for a while and I knew she wanted to get married. You know what girls are like? She dropped the occasional hint. <laughs> to wear a veil around the house. <laughs> Hi, darling, how was your day? some flowers, thank you. I see what's going on. So I proposed to her, I took her to an Italian restaurant, uh, which is nice, it was where we first got together, it was a nice little symmetry, and uh, you know, I took her there. I didn't like Italian food, I don't, the waiters I don't like to be honest, they sort of got on my face a bit. I had to get it over with pretty quickly, I had to propose, because they're always flirting. I don't know what it is about Italian waiters, constantly flirting with, with my woman, and I just, just fuck off and get the bread, just leave us alone. <laughs> is what I'm focusing on now. And if the food needs black pepper, it should have it on it. Don't you agree with me? I mean, the whole reason I'm in this restaurant, I'm looking to order food that's on the menu. You bring it to me when it's finished, when it's ready. If it requires additional ingredients, see the chef for that. I really don't know. And why can't we be trusted with our own peppers? Can't we have our own peppers on our table? Was there a trial period when we had pepper and it just didn't pan out? We were just running around, hitting people over the heads, grinding in each other's faces. Ha ha ha! We must take the pepper back! And they put it in front of you, the food, before you've even tasted it. You haven't put it in your mouth. They start offering you pepper, black pepper. But how do I know if it needs black pepper? You can say anything to me. Another half hour in the oven? How would I know that? Do you see what's happening? I haven't put it in my mouth. More basil? I don't know! They just do it so they can show off with those pepper mills in front of women. What, do they have them specially made? They need to be this size? They need to look like patio chess? What are you doing? Black pepper? Certainly, darling. I don't think so. So I ask her, will you marry me? It's almost like in slow motion, you know, will you marry me? And I expected, as I say, an immediate, yes, you know, hugging and kissing, because I knew she really wanted to get married. That's not exactly how it happened. She's going, my girl, my girl. What? What, what do you, I'm asking you to marry me. I know what you're trying to do. But start again. And do it right. What are you, what are you kidding? I'm, I'm, this is how I've chosen to ask you to marry me. You're not directing this scene. I'm proposing. Michael, you have to get down on one knee. Are you kidding, right? I can't. That's humiliating. I'm in the middle of a... I can't just drop to the floor in this restaurant. It's embarrassing. Plus, I've got all the waiters lined up at the bar going, Say no, darling. Don't make a mistake. I tried to tell you something with the pepper. You know, listen to me, eh? You want to spend the rest of your life with pepper sachet boy? I don't think so. 
darling, I, I'm asking you to marry me. This is it. This is the way I'm going to do it. She's like, I'm so sorry, Michael. I'm so sorry, but I'm so sorry. I've been waiting my whole life. Like, literally my whole life since before I was born. <laughs> For this moment, it's romantic. It's tradition. You have to get down on one knee. You just do You just do, just do. do it. Just do it now. And I'm like, hang on a minute. I've just spent the equivalent of a small car <laughs> on this diamond ring. Why don't you get down on your fucking knee?